bunch of it. Okay. One of the main features we talk about is uh, you know, one of the main features we talk about when he uh, ends up talking to me is about Amtrak 130 mm. and how much views it gets. <laughs> yeah, how ridiculous. It yeah, is. he. Don't worry, you're not alone, Brandon. He does that to me too. Yeah. The thing is, just... Josh, I've already driven on the Donner Pass route. I don't want to do it again. No, how will you drive SP <clears throat> on the Cajon Pass? Actually, Harley, he was talking, talking to me. He actually drove a train and he ended up accidentally launching it into space. Yeah, yeah I've seen it. Of... I've seen it happen. It's uh, it's interesting. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a Sherman Hill thing. Okay. Going from Cheyenne to Laramie, but with what? I'm not gonna do a turbine. That thing's loud as hell. I think I'm gonna do a Jeep 30. Okay. UP, I'm guessing. Yeah. Even okay. though the SP did have Jeep 30s, but I digress. Okay. Yay. What the hell was that noise? Like, legit, I don't know. Like, legit, I've caught basically every Jeep there is running. Even right a Jeep now. 30. Yes, I've caught a Jeep 30. Whoa. I'm pretty sure I've caught a Jeep. No, I've caught every other one. Except, except for a except GP30. Jeep. Yeah. Well, the BNSF still has a few of them. Yeah. I know that. Do I know where they run? Yeah. No, I do not. Oh, well. Yeah. Alright, when I hear, when I do the clap, that means y'all gotta shut up. Because that means that is the start of the recording. And blah, blah, blah. And I probably don't want to ruin it. Yes, that is the most important thing. Yeah, don't ruin it. <laughs> yes, we don't, <laughs> we don't... That's basically what I think of every single time I go well thing in a nutshell. I just don't like talking in my videos at all. Yeah. Unless you're very far away. If you're quiet enough and it's like you, it's like if it's like that in the background, I'm perfectly fine with that. But if it's like, "Hey guys, how you doing?" <laughs> I can't I can't deal with that. Not that. So that's why you never go with FOMOS. Oh, I go I'll go with them, but I move away from them when they film. And me and Brian actually set up a little code language. We do. We have it on our phones. Yeah, we have a code language. But that's our own language. Yeah. Well, that's just great. We call it trainees. Okay, that's now, No, that actually sounds like a diaper. <laughs> no. <laughs> it, to me, to me, it does. Yeah. It's a hey, man. You, did you have you bought any trainees? Yeah, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. No, hold on, hold on. I got a better idea. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. Our son's been. Uh, he's not pie trained yet. He's still in his trainees. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah, I heard about that diaper brand. Is it good? <laughs> yeah, it it's on par with Huggies and um, Pampers and all that. But <laughs> the only the only difference is that it has trains all over it. So <laughs> I don't know about you. But if that actually existed, I would watch that instantly. Imagine you... how many your Hold on. How old are you? Like sixteen. Yeah, that's not weird at all. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I'm saying that those actual. No, I'm saying that they were existing while I was a baby. Mm. Like, imagine like going off to the shop. Hey, what trains would you like? A trainee with a bunch of Jeevos? Yeah, and you go onto like the Pampers website. There you go, Josh. That's what you should do. Yeah. Take this idea to Pampers and tell them we have a new style of diaper, but it has <laughs> trains all over it. Huh? Yeah. Exactly. And we can make it. Mar we can make it marketed specifically for boys, or we can do it for mostly boys, but we can also have girls wear it if we want. I mean, they wear the same style of diaper regardless. Imagine having trainees and a whole, multiple amount of heritage units. Yeah, if, 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 if your kid wear it, he will officially grow up to be a FOMA. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. I'm Ruggie. This is our son, Jerry. 
Oh, what type of diapers is he wearing? Oh, you know, uh, the new Pampers trainees. They, uh... What? Oh, I've heard of those. What's, what, is there anything special about them? Not really. <laughs> the only special thing about them is that they, uh, they have trains on them. You know? And you can put your favorite logo on the butt. <laughs> Don't put the pink poodle on there. A what? The pink poodle. What's that? What's the uh, pink poodle? I'm just, I'm just gonna say I put it in the chat. Oh god. It's just it's just making me remind <laughs> mind myself of There freaking, we go. If we can die we have a wimpy kid. Okay. Why, Josh? I think it was logical. I don't know. What? You're no, I think it's because, like, you are so Wondrick's, immature. Uh, band name was called Lotus yes, Diaper. So when you got on the topic of diapers, I just randomly saw that. Hello, everybody. I'm the Webmaster. Welcome back to another Rail Bros Productions video. Joining us is Josh and Brandon. Say hi, you... you, you. Yeah, just say hi, you two. Hi. Hello! Good enough. I'm coming to you live from my quarantine house. Yes, we are all in quarantine. It's also May 4th, Star Wars Day. May the 4th yeah. be with you. Yeah, um, yeah. May the 4th be with you. Anyway, uh, we are in Train Simulator, and we are going to be driving a Union Pacific GP30 on the Sherman Hill. Um, we are currently in Cheyenne, and we are traveling to Laramie, which I am pretty sure is west of Cheyenne. I am not sure. Um, but let's center ourselves here. It is currently, it is, it says we will show up at 1231, which I highly doubt is possible. But anyway, so let's get ourselves started here. Got full, brakes are off, and let's start it up at 38. Anyway, so, um, we've been talking about diaper ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're, we have a new idea for Pampers. It's called Trainees. It's basically diapers. But with trains. But with trains on them. And we are thinking of, I was saying, you could put any kind of, you could put any kind of railroad logo on the butt part of the diaper and for some reason Josh decides a pink poodle is a good idea but when he writes into the description it's a strip club yeah you know that BMW dealer I think it's on it's by my school you know that street that has a kid that you know that place called the pink poodle that's like behind like next to the BMW dealer on oh, no. Listen, buddy, we both of us have no idea what you're talking about, let's be honest. I just blanked out and started wearing, uh, staring into space. You mean you zoned out? Yeah, you can say that too. I was, you know, but here's the thing though. If I was to put any, I can't, there, I can't just pick one logo to put on the butt. Because there's a bunch of different companies out there that I would like to put on there, like the SP, the UP, Pan Am Railways, and things like that. Yeah. I think one that I wouldn't put on there would probably be... I don't know. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm just glad that no railroad company ever used a donkey for their railroad company logo. Yeah. Cause then that diaper. Yeah, thank cause, God. Cause then that diaper would be a, Cause then that diaper would be a literal ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's a good thing no. It's a good thing nobody's ever thought of doing that. Why is there a donkey on the butt of the diaper? Oh, because it literally it represents the ass. <laughs> You're not wrong, Brenda. You're not wrong. Come on, I thought this was supposed to be a Christian mind This is not Christian at all. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, all right, let's get this train moving. At full power, no brakes, sand is on. 
driving a GP30 on the Sherman Hill, even though it's set in modern times. Oh, well. Well, I mean, it's very stimulated, so you can basically do whatever you think you want. Yeah, pretty much. That's why it's called Simulator, instead of Train Scenario. Yeah. Yeah, yeah how do you like Hold on a minute. I need to exit out because I need to turn you up. I need to turn you up, Josh. You know all those dinosaur like grabbers that you used to have? What? You know all those grabber things that had a dinosaur head? Has the thing that would grab? Oh, he's talking about those amuse uh, he's talking about those things that you would see like over at like uh, arcades. I'm oh you mean the claw games? Yeah. yeah, but instead of like a claw machine with a dinosaur head, and like yeah. the bottom would spin around. What? No, that's not what I'm talking about. Oh, he said dinosaur grabber, so that's what I just thought. Yeah, it's one that you're holding your hand. Oh, those th never mind. Oh. Never mind. I know they're basically okay. toys. I see what he's. Yeah, it's like it's like a di It's like it's like a gun. Yeah, it's it has like, like it's a gun like a handle. Head. Has a gun handle yeah. with a trigger, but on it and it like. It chomps down, up and down, like. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Did you just find one of those? Stick. Yeah, I'm just holding it. Put it in. Put it up to your mic and click it. We can't hear it, can you? Well, wait, wait. Can Let me get it closer. I think he is doing it, but it's like, I but think, it's like so muffled. I think it's just causing noise suppression. I'll turn that off real quick. Yeah, let's see what happens here. And then noise at, suppression. No, there's a noise suppression. It's a new. It's a beta tool. There we go. Now we hear it. Yeah, now I can hear okay, it. Okay, turn it back on. Turn back on noise suppression. Okay. So yeah, I'm just like using one of the. <laughs> I'm just gonna be doing that the entire time we're talking. Good thing noise suppression's on. Yeah. What background? Don't ask questions. I'm weird. Okay. Yeah, I we I I kind of figured. All right, we're back in train simulator. We had I had to turn up Josh. He was quite quiet. Um, anyway, we're passing a, a full SD70 NS consist, which is not exactly pulling BNSF Harper cars, which is not exactly right, but oh well. Um. So yeah, if you had the ability to put a, any kind of logo on a diaper, Brandon, what what railroad logo would you choose? I would choose. CSX. All right. Is that UP. Really? You wouldn't do BNSF? Nah. Really? Why is that? Because the logo gets shit on. I don't want BNSF to get shit on. Uh, okay. You can see how on passionate hand, you can see how passionate Josh is about the BNSF. The reason why I chose the uh, CSX was because it definitely deserved it. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I don't know who I'd give it to. But here's the thing, though: the logo isn't getting direct, directly getting. It's sure it's getting sat on, but the poop is not actually touching the logo. All right. Yeah. Unless you wore that diaper inside out, <laughs> which I don't know if that's possible. It probably is, but um. Yeah. I don't know. I don't wear diapers, and I don't... And my nephew is no longer in diapers, either. Yeah. Plus, I never bothered to help change him. I'm a big boy. Yes, so am I. So am I. We're all big boys. Yes, I'm yeah. the biggest boy. Yeah. But I'm the media. Anyway... So you guys know squirrels, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, squirrels, the big boy thing. So you know, we so you know, we say squirrels like that. 
However, the English, they say squibble. Squibble? Squibble. It's really weird how to pronounce it, but... But, also, <clears throat> another thing is, if you ever go up to anybody that's German, well, just, Germans can't say the word squirrel. So basically, the whole idea, the whole thing was, they thought this guy was a German spy, so they brought him into an irrigation and said, we think you're a German spy, German spy, and it's like, good lord, I'm not, I was, I lived in Wales, and then I lived in Birmingham, and I have my English, here's my English citizenship, take a look over here. All right, well, if you are, all right, if you claim to be an English citizen, then what is this? And they showed him a picture of a squirrel. Ah, it's a mamazette. No, don't be ridiculous. It's not a mamazette, and besides, a mamazette does not have a big bushy tail. Well, if it's not a mamazette, it must be a squirrel oil. What the hell? Yeah, seriously, no German, no matter how good their English is, they cannot, they cannot pronounce squirrel. Oh. I know, it's weird how that, it's weird how that works. Hmm. Now I'm going to German test all my friends. Now you're gonna what? You know. Now I'm gonna see how many of them are German. Well, now, well, they might be German in heritage. They might be German like because that's their heritage. But how many do people do you really think of your friends are actually from Germany? None. Absolutely yeah. zero. So what you, is yeah. Well, that's not the that's not the same. That's way different. And these, this EMD power is loud. Load power. Well, EMDs have been known to be quite loud in general. Yeah, especially the streamers that they made. I mean, the the F40s. Yeah. Well, the the well, the reason why that is the the reason why the F40s are nicknamed screamers is because their RPM level never changes. Yeah. They're always running at a constant RPM. Wasn't it like a thousand or something like that? No, that's. I think it was like nine hundred. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can. I mean, I can find out too. Yeah. Well, wait. I'll find out. Nope. Okay. I'm too late. I'm already doing it. Okay. You think of something else to talk about while I search this up. Okay. <laughs> but. You know. Bro, bro. <laughs> what you know. You know when you see like an F forty today, like how they're super quiet compared to like F forty in the nineteen seventies? It's because they've had their um rebuild. Yeah, because they've had also either one they've had their engines overhauled or two they were, you know, completely refitted. Or they're the um The or, fake forties. No. Or because um Amtrak gutted them. Yeah. And when you think about it, the Amtrak um, non-powered control units, the, the F-40s that they nicknamed cabbage units, they're, in theory, taxidermied locomotives. Because they've had all their guts yeah. removed. Yeah. That just, like, it just sounds so wrong, because, like, I just, like, the cabbage are basically, like, humans, and they had all their guts done. If it was just, uh... Just don't just think about it too much. Yeah. Oh, I think about it a lot. Or, yeah. if you want to be less... It's funny, uh, pretty much an f 40 ph such a flesh pumpkin. And the f 40 ph cabbage is like after... After you make a jack-o-lantern. Pretty much that's what it is. I guess. But you add a door to it. Well, two doors. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if that's what's going to be the P F forty P. I mean, not P forty twos. Yeah, I wonder if that's what's going to be the new job in P forty two. I don't because, think yeah. so. I think they're just going to scrap the P forty twos. Well, one thing for sure, they're going to stick a bunch of them in storage first, and then yeah. and then eventually they're going to scrap start. Well, they're going to start scrapping a bunch of them. No, I think what they're first do is they'll get rid of all the P forties. They'll scrap all those, put the P forty twos in storage. Either and, that and Metro buys all of them. No, Metro wouldn't do that. They're already buying um, Caltrain's gallery sets, so... Yeah. Besides, they have plenty of locomotives, too. Yeah, and... Uh, yeah, that just also, speaking of Caltrain... They use them a lot. But, yeah, but speaking of Caltrain, Caltrain's getting a real kick in the balls right now. Well, all... Well, you do realize that all passengers... All passengers... Yeah. 
all passenger yeah. companies are right now. Yeah. Oh, I still have a state of disaster. It is. Yeah. But it's yeah. been worse. It's been worse. Never heard of the yeah. Great Depression? Yes, it has this been. This is the Great Depression. N no, it isn't. No, this isn't. Not everybody's homeless. I mean, jobless. Yeah. yeah, that's true. And also, there are no big public work projects. We're not building another Hoover Dam right now, either. <laughs> so it's been worse. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right now, yeah. Yeah. I mean, seriously, what could be worse than having a giant meteor pass? Us having a bunch of motor hornets be spotted in America and having a small percent chance of the super volcano erupting. What the hell is the super hornets? I mean, murder hornets. What is that? <laughs> they're basically, they're like that's basically the nickname of Japanese uh, or Asian giant hornets. Just look them up. I know what they are, but so that's what they're calling them? Just murder hornets? Yeah, they're just calling them murder hornets. Now, why the hell would they do that? <laughs> I don't know. Or something? What? Did it kill someone or something like that? Maybe, but no, the but Africanized killed... killer honeybees are more likely to kill you. Yeah. But they do kill bees. Yeah. Well, I would say the term bee killer could mainly be a new... It could be a better name. I'm pretty sure bee killers are called humans. <laughs> but... That'd be true. But yeah. <sighs> well, I gotta take a look at your side of my box real quick. Side of your box you know, of what? Since, oh, um, finger. since I got random ideas, um, I've been always wanting to take like little, little, like little noise tests and test how many decibels, and then just go up to a bunch of foamers and then just sound it and like just see how many decibels they can all scream at a heritage unit. Hmm. So you're just gonna do some which means you need to get a decibel meter. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There yeah. are there are apps on phones, but I wouldn't trust them. Because they're not exactly accurate. <laughs> yeah, just instant scream and then it like shows up as eight billion decibels. So here, hold on. I actually have one on my phone, so let me hang on a minute. So right okay. now it says I'm talking at about hmm, 85, that's the average, uh, that's the average uh, decibel, so hold on, if I just go, HA! It says uh, I just peaked at 111, which I don't think oh. is exactly accurate, because if I'm correct, the average train horn is about 120 decibels. Josh, yeah. Josh, can you fact check me there for a sec? Yeah, it's 125, All right. actually. So, I was almost, so according to that app, I was almost as loud as a damn train horn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And, whoa, wait. I can actually give you a Pacific train horn decibel. Alright. Wait, just give me a second. Violently slams keep. What? Okay. <laughs> so the K5LA. Hey. Wait, did my Nathan K5LA can. Produce 144 decibels at 10 feet from you. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, that's a very sarcastic, uh, but whatever. Yeah. I like doing that. Okay. That'll get you in trouble someday, though, but I digress. Yeah. So you gotta be careful. Yeah. You gotta be careful with that. Yeah. Ooh, strobe light. What'd that do? Did that turn on the, uh... Oh, yeah, they, but they didn't turn it on. Okay. but the average train horn goes from uh, like 100 decibels to like 140 decibels. Alright. And over the point where you just start feeling pain. Yeah. I think that's at like 120 decibels when you start feeling pain. I don't know. I mean, I wear headphones all the time, so I can fall asleep. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, bro. It's about a fire alarm. Yeah, those are yeah. pretty damn loud. Yeah. Uh, they are loud. I can simulate one for you if you want. What? Oh. Yeah. Did, you okay. just, did you just say you could play one? <laughs> I don't want you to do that. Yeah, trust me, it just sounds like squeechy. <laughs> Oh, actually, speaking of that, my dad had to do a test for our new fire alarm and carbon dioxide alarm last night, and it kind of freaked me out. I think I was on a, on a call with Brandon at the time. You just heard me, me, me. I can't hear anything. Yeah. Probably because he but had just like, <laughs> just like Don't some try super to recreate it. high pitch me. Yeah, well, that's the idea. It's to alert you. Yeah. Actually, yeah, my, my, uh, Fire alarm is not even a ring anymore. It's yeah. just an empty well, shell. Uh, my lease unit is doing okay on eBay right now. Nobody cares, Josh. Okay. Just like how nobody cares about how Amtrak 130 on leading Coast Starlight number 11. I didn't come here to hear you talk about that. Okay. They came here to t they came here to listen to us talk about other crap and watch me okay. drive a GP30. Which I think is one of the more beautiful Jeeps of of the era. Yeah. It's definitely... It's weirdly streamlined is what's weird about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a combo of like the Jeep 40 and like the uh, uh, Jeep 20. Yeah. Can a train horn be considered an instrument? Um... Yeah. I mean, if cannon... Yeah. I mean, I suppose... I mean, if cannons can be considered an instrument, why not? Yeah. Because in the 1812 Overture, there's definitely cannons in that song. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I've heard people... Somebody made a music video for Caltrain using just Caltrain-related noises. Yeah. And it's bad. Yeah. yeah. Wait, are you talking about that one dude? Like, I can't forget his name. Whatever. But some somebody made a Caltrain music video just using... Noises that Caltrain locomotives have made. It's yeah. bleh. It's well, god awful. Well, it's weird. It's just like, why would you think? Why did you think this was a good idea? Yeah. Oh, and also, uh, speaking of that, I'm thinking I could do something like that, but no. it's just not one type of horn. No. I actually use different types of horns. No. I'm Just not letting you do that. Okay. I would kill you. Okay. Well, I mean, if you if you tried that without me knowing and you put it up on the channel, I would immediately delete it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, maybe that's what we should do for the 50th anniversary. Grab every single horn and try to make it a song out of it. Yeah, we'll play Bohemian Rhapsody. Why yeah. not? Yeah. Hey. <sighs> you, remember, you remember the video called Get Out of My Car Now? Oh, God. He was talking about this in one of our chats. Get out of my... Oh, it's that. Oh, it's that one. I've yeah. seen the uh, the vacoded one that goes to like I think it's the um what is it? I don't remember. The American national anthem. I remember that. Oh, that one. I saw yeah. that. I never seen. I've never seen the original, but I don't want to watch it. But what about it, Josh? Like, legit, I came across it like a few days ago, and I'm just like... You in love with it hell? right now? No, I'm just like, what the hell was YouTube back then? Um, the it I used to be different. Yeah. I remember the time that I've seen uh, a version of it called Get Out of Car. It's like a YouTube poop of it. Okay. And it's... And it's funny because, like, when, uh, 
like in one of the bits where he's like, I can talk uh, talk to you any way, any goddamn way I want. Um, he's like, it, it basically take that part, but like add voice tracks to it. Hmm. Um, the only YouTube poop video I've ever seen. It was um, a Toy Story 2 thing. It was called Woody's Gundam Style Adventure. <laughs> oh no! And I, I, I think it's in, I think it's entertaining. It was interesting. I'll put the link in the description yeah. below. No, no, not yeah. below. I mean, I'll put the in the Discord. I'll put the links so you guys can watch it. Yeah. But I okay. think it's I think it's interesting. Okay. But um, yeah. It was, it's a uh, weird, but, yeah. oh well. I see like a billion YouTube poops back in my day. Uh, That's how I learned. Okay. That's how I learned to wear it. The what? <laughs> A.K.A. Sentence and Answers. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So don't forget, if you have a clip, it's not going to do Sentence and Answers. Yeah, but hmm. But it just goes quiet. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when we when we can't think of anything to say. Yeah. But just imagine someone trying to represent World War what happened with World War Two, mil the military history of World War Two, who but with American railroads. I think that would work. Oh, yeah. I do, I do, uh, I do like watching the, um, things portrayed, portrayed by, like, Spongebob, so it's like school grades oh, portrayed yeah. by Spongebob, yeah. students, classmates, whatever, World War Two, or, like, a history of the world portrayed by Spongebob. Those are entertaining. Yeah. yeah. It's, because it's just, like, Hiroshima, the atomic bomb, it's when, like, when, um, Spongebob trips and the and the pie blows up in Squidward's face. <laughs> yeah. It's always funny because, like, when I first met... Because, uh, well, it's funny because it's not wrong. Yeah. Like, when I first met, um, Josh, um, he, he, he was telling me, like, every railroad in, like, one sentence... In, like, one sentence. Mm. That was hilarious. Let's see here. Let's they should make huh. American werewolves betrayed by Spongebob. That yeah. wouldn't work. Yeah. I don't think. Because there's no really... That'd be tough to do. But let's see. Yeah. Let's see if I can describe... In one sentence, describe the current railroads right now. Um, for the UP... Steam program. Yeah. Uh, BNSF. Um. Hey, look at us. We're orange. I don't know. <laughs> we are special. Mm hmm. CSX. Uh. We clash a lot. Why? Why? I mean, if you don't know, CSX tends to like be a representation of the welling. <laughs> the welling. Oh, the they, oh! I thought you said clash. I'm like, who are they clashing with? No. But no, it's in... a clash. Okay, well, no, sorry. You have a You're... real bad sense of grammar. No, I, no, it's your speech impediment, buddy. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. That's why. Um, but that's a horrible shot. Um, what about NS? I don't know. We have a horse. Yeah. Run, no, Wait, no, no. The iron, no, iron horses. There we go. Yeah. And then for Feramex, hola, como estas? Yeah. I don't know, something like that. Yeah. Oh, uh, can I have a crack at it, Liz? Mm, with what company? Uh, I'm going to do every single freight railroad and... Hold on, let me... Wait, I'm going to do basically every single passenger railroad. Hold on, let me okay. think, hold on, let me do Kansas City Southern. 
Oh. Uh, okay. oh. So KCS, hola, how you doing? Because they, because they, they both, because they go, because Kansas City Southern is both a U.S. Mexican railroad. Actually, I'm gonna try to shot with the interactive. All right, Josh, go ahead. Okay, so this is basically every you, passenger railroad I know. So wait, you're gonna be doing it. You're gonna be doing a single sentence for each every, every, each one, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. Make sure you say the name before. Okay. Because I'm Amtrak. Gonna... Amtrak. We were built by the government, but now we suck, and we're always late. That's more than one sentence. Just no, out. there's a lot of ang. No, I put an ang before that. Well, keep in mind that you can start a sentence with the word and. It's one of those weird words. Okay. I think you should just keep it with, we were created by the government and we suck, even though Joe Biden loves us. Um, anyway. Yeah. All yeah, right. Let's go with that. Yeah. Continue. Amtrak. Created by the government, yeah. but we suck, even though Joe Biden yeah. loves us. Hey. Yeah. Anyway, go on. Let's continue. SEPTA, we're basically the caltrain of the Northeast Corridor. NJ Transit, we're the ghetto caltrain of the Northeast Corridor. Mark, Simple we're Mark. the other ghetto transit of the Northeast Corridor. Don't use ghetto, we need to change these, okay? Okay. Calling a ghetto is just being rude, especially if there's any black people watching this. Yeah. Because comparing a railroad company to the ghettos is just bad. Okay, do you want me to redo those two then? Uh, yeah. And don't call them the Caltrain or whatever. Okay. SEPTA. The regional transportation service made for the Northeast Corridor to try to make Amtrak not suck. No, wait, I have, a, I have one for Mark here. Se no, I mean, SEPTA. SEPTA, we had AEM-7s too. Yeah. I'm Mark. Not... Mark. We have MP-36s too. They do. They actually have MP-36s. Uh -huh. NJ Trangs. You want to get some yeah. coffee? <laughs> yeah. You want to get some coffee? Don't try it. <laughs> Don't try it. Yeah, Just but... let me handle the accents here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now, oh, Sounder. Oh, wait, that no, wait. One... Wait, I have one for energy transit. Oh, damn it, you spilled my coffee! Yeah. Because <laughs> that makes more sense. Yeah. I don't mean any disrespect to anybody and... from New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. You're no a wonderful disrespect. place. You guys just have funny accents. It's fun to make funny. All because of New Jersey housewives and Snooky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Overreaction, but okay. All right. Go on. So we have NJ Transit. Now what? And yes, I am doing one for each, like, corridor. Okay, we thing. get it. We get it. Shut up. Just keep going. We got Telgos. <laughs> and we're white. Wait, who is this? Amtrak Cascades. We got Telgos and we're white. Well, dude, move. Don't go straight from the Northeast Corridor to Cascades. You're forgetting a few in the middle. Oh, right. And you're also forgetting some down south. No, I was going to work from the north west no, down to the south west. Just work from east to west. Okay. It's more better that way. Yeah. Okay, well. Thank you, Daffy Duck. Uh, what? Uh, what's that? <laughs> Don't ask questions. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Can we just address what you said? Thank you, <laughs> Daffy Duck. What are you doing? <laughs> I do not know. Are you watching DuckTales? <laughs> don't have what I do in my spare time. I don't want to know because all I'm hearing is thank you, Daffy Duck, and I don't want to know. You're 16, too, so for all I know, he's giving you a blowjob. <laughs> okay, no. Yeah. Anyway. So okay. We have... Um, let's just forget what's that one uh, Virginia owned? Virginian ex Virginia Express? Yeah, Virginia Express. No, the Virginia state Railway. made us. To Close enough. Not, the state made us. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Anything in the Virgin Midwest. trains? Yeah. Virgin trains. We're slow virgin. 
We're not exactly. No, Virgin Trains. We were once called Brightline. Yeah. We were oh, once. Oh, Brightline. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. Or you could say Virgin Trains. When you own Siemens, I don't think you're a virgin. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um. So there's uh, that. Anything in like Oklahoma or Oklahoma well, or Texas? Well, in Tennessee, what's that one? What's that one? Is it the Nashville Star? Oh no, yeah, no, it's not a music thing. Yeah, the Music City Star. Music City Star. I know Star, great. Well, no, you don't even live Star. near there. Well, I actually voted you. I'm like, I'm like on top of Tennessee. Kentucky's on top of Tennessee. But which one has crazier people? That's the question. Yeah. I'm gonna blame. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna go on Tennessee. Yeah. I don't okay. Know that. Um. Music City Star. Music City Star. We have old Surfline F40s and guys. No, just just a sing, just one singular. Yeah, there's one. That's all that's special about us. I would say more like. Also, we still. Uh, my ver my thing for Music City Star is, Music City Star. We play country music over the PA every day, all the time. Yeah. I just think Music City Star just basically takes all these old metro unit, uh, metro cars and then just repaints them. That's yeah. kind of what they did. Yeah. All right. Now you can go. Okay. Now you can go up to the Chicago area. Metra. We are blue. Yes. We are blue. And we look a lot like Caltrain. No, they don't. Not I was thinking anyway. more of I was thinking more of Metra. We like buying old units. Mm. Yeah. I mean technically they do. I mean they just bought the um F fifty nines and they still have the P uh, the F forties. No, Metra, we're suckers for old units. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. Then you've also no, done, wait. now you have um, the uh, Amtrak Midwest. Yeah. No, Amtrak Mid no, Amtrak Midwest. Our charges don't look as bad as California's. Yeah. Cause it's not. Cause I, I'm not wrong. Yeah. Okay, now on to Amtrak California. I'm going to be no, doing every. No, 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 you're forgetting a few. Uh, which ones am I forgetting? The Rail Runner. In New Mexico. All right. Actually, no, no. The no, Rail Runner. There's one in Texas called TRE Trinity Railroad Express. Never heard of that one. Yeah, yeah. Trinity Railroad Express. No one knows us. Actually, if I gotta say anything, uh, let me try this one. Trinity Railroad Express. We have a Texas flag in the front. Woo! If they do, Woo. like, like, take, just take a look at, like, just literally such a no, 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 Trinity Railroad. No, Trinity. Ra wait, what is it called again? Trinity, Trinity Railroad. Railroad. Okay, Trinity Railroad. We're proud Texans. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you can go with that one. Um. The Road Runner. No Rail Runner, you dummy. The Rail Runner. Meet me. Yeah. Me 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 No, no, no. Or, or Rail Runner. Yeah, we crashed into a FedEx truck. <laughs> yeah. I think it was FedEx. Yeah, it was FedEx. No, or Rail Runner. FedEx doesn't like us. Yeah, FedEx does not like you. Okay. Right, you can go start up in Washington. Okay. Amtrak Cascades, we have telegos and we're white, so we're special. We're also green. Yeah. But no one cares, because everything else is green. Amtrak, ca Amtrak Cascades. We're the only other Amtrak thing that doesn't own, that owns streamlined things. No, Amtrak Cascades. Our cars are small. Oh, for... No, Correct. Amtrak Cascades. We own streamlined train sets too. Because they do. Oh. Yeah, they do. Okay, okay. Next. Sounder. Sounder. Uh. <laughs> no one cares about us. There you go. Yeah. Sounder. 
it's loud as it sound. Yeah. Sound you look a bit like coaster. You look a bit like what? Of coaster. Like it's all it looks like it. Yeah, it's all it looks like coaster if you really think about it. I guess. Like I mean, yeah. Not really. Color scheme not really. Yeah. Co you can, you can Sounder's Give more a Sounder's more blue. Coach is yeah, more true. green and weirdly and a weird blue. Yeah. Anyway. Alright, moving down. You. Moving down. Okay. Amtrak California. Nope, you're forgetting smart. Alright. Smart train. Smart. We like wine. Yeah. We like wine. Well, because okay. it serves the Sonoma and Marin counties, and Sonoma is quite known for its wine and along with Napa. Oh, okay. Alright, yeah, 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 that train. So, uh, okay. yeah. Smart train. We like wine. Yes. Amtrak California. Well. Well, no, you have to be more. Yeah. Well, here's the thing: though, you need to be more specific because Amtrak California has, has the Capitol corridor, corridor and the San Joaquin's, and then the surf line. So you need to be more specific. Amtrak Capitol corridors. You just say Capitol corridors. Yeah, Capitol corridors. We connect the Bay Area to Sacramento, and we still have our F, and we still have our F fifty nines. Amtrak San Joaqu San Joaquin's. We still use single-level coaches with our bi-level coaches, and we still have that 59. Well, the only reason why they're doing that is just to, it's just because of increased ridership, but yeah. normally they wouldn't do that unless they get another. But anyway, and now, I would give it, I think, I think honestly. And also, oh, and also, for both of those, our chargers suck. Well, dude, that's just Amtrak California in general. All right, yeah, I got to say Amtrak California in general. Our chargers suck. That's 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 just an, uh, anyway. I think one for Capital Corridor in the San Joaquin would be um, not willing to let go of our F fifty nines just yet. Yeah. Pacific uh, South Carolina. Okay, that's, no, that was a little we're much. forgetting. We're, but we're hold forgetting. on a minute. I hold on. I need one. I want to say one thing. For Metra, hoarders. Yeah. Because they like. Yeah, 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 you're right. Because hoarders right. will collect old things and just, you know, yeah. hoard them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you say that. Alright. Okay. Um. Caltrain. We like the bay. Well, no. No, no, um. Caltrain. Hey, we're basically locked to a peninsula, and we hate Union Pacific, and we're going electric, so you just suck it. Actually, I would want to say Caltrain. We have two different sets of trains. So does Metro. No, that's actually not true. All right, yeah, they only use gallery cars. Mm -hmm. yeah. The San Joaquin, the San Joaquin's are, Joaquin's are also different too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Caltrain. Uh, serving the serving San Francisco since 1985. Yeah. Or you could say, or you could say Caltrain about to electrify your asses. Yeah. Caltrain about to electrify your asses. Don't try to repeat what I just said. Okay. Now. Eight. Eight. We still our entire roster is still full. Full of F40s except for our one charger. Okay, now you're just being given descriptions. These had to be like stereotypes. Well, I guess, but you could, but also try to give them a little bit of flamboyancy and a little bit of comedy in them. Okay. Which is why I said Metro Hoarders. Eight. Yeah. Eight. We're old school and we are don't like changing. No, that's. Nah. No. That's Metro. Oh, uh, yeah, that's basically Metro. Hey. No, me we... no, no, Metro is... We're old school and don't like to change, but we'll change a little. Yeah. And that was all one sentence. Yes, it was long, but... Hey. No, no, Ace. Yeah. Knock off Capital Corridor. Yeah, basically knock off Capital... No, Ace. Hey. Capital Corridor, but we go to Stockton instead of Sacramento. Yeah. They're supposedly going to be going to, to Sacramento someday, though. Yeah. Wait a and now... 
down to the Surflanger. The Pacific Surflanger. We love our Chargers. <laughs> yes, we love our Chargers. Mm -hmm. Or we love the beach. Yeah. You pick. Beach lovers. Yeah. Hippies. No. No. Portland's like what? Oregon. Portland, Oregon's full of hippies. Okay. Um. Metrolink. Yeah, Metrolink. It We're might... basically like Caltrain, but not we a... got things that look like Chargers, but are not Chargers. I was gonna say Metrolink. We're a little dangerous. Yeah, Metrolink. Yeah, we're a little dangerous, and we also got really ugly locomotives. M Metrolink. The horns on our cab car suck. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was. I think the newer tra train horns or the, the F one twenty fives. Yes, those. They still sound pretty weird. Yeah. They're Something would sound bad. I don't know. They sound foul to me, but I don't know. Yeah. Coaster. Coaster. Not related to roller coasters. Yes. Yeah. I was gonna say, Coaster. We got a YouTuber. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably the most. A Coaster fan. Probably the most popular rail fan of all time. Yeah. yeah. I don't know though. Oh, by the way, there's two other trains that you guys missed in wow. Elbow and Florida. One's Triwell and uh, another one Sunwell. All right. Well, hold on. Which one's the very, very blue one? Next tri rail. Okay. Yeah. Tri rail. We look like the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And, it's... and what does the other one look like? It's like a weird. Sunwell. It's like white and orange and black. Oh, I know. Uh, I know about this one. Oh, whoa, wait. We have really weird locomotives. Hmm. So does sun. So does, oh. so does tri rail. Yeah. Wait, I I was gonna say. Wait, what's the name of it again? Tri rail or sun rail? Tri sun rail. We look like. What's that one? The orange. Ah, uh, we look like an orange dream machine from Jump Juice. Hashtag got sponsored. What? I don't go to Jump Juice, so I wouldn't know. I'm very weird. When it comes to food, Same here. when it comes no, when it comes to food, I'm weird about that. But when it comes to talking to people, I'm not so weird. Unless I choose to be. Yay! Was that a yay for, hey, same, or what? Yeah. Okay. No, um, I, no, actually, here, tri-rail. No, we don't have three rails on the tracks. Yeah, yeah I guess or, no. Sense. Well, no, when you think of tri when you think of a three-rail thing, you think of, like, um... Like the subways that have the uh, that third electrified rail. Alchem was actually considering doing that. That's a little ridiculous, but okay. Yeah. But they didn't clearly. Yeah. But um. Or you could do try and say no, we're not electrified. Yeah. Well, that would go for pretty much every commuter train. There's one like, like none. Uh, there's no commuter train. Northeast yeah. corridor. Um, you're forgetting yeah. Northeast. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Northeast corridor. Yeah, that's yeah. that's. Now, Caltrain will be the first. Um, train in California. Well, the first no. It'll be the first railroad on the West Coast. If you don't count like the. Oh, yeah. uh, <coughs> excuse me. If you don't count the um, light rails. Yeah. Then it will be Can the. We count them? Nah, I don't. I don't like. I was. I don't count them as that. Yeah. But if. You, but if. So if you don't count those, Caltrain will be the um, first uh, passenger co passenger railroad on the West Coast to be electrified. Oh. Yeah. Oh wait, we're forgetting about Cal High Speed Rail. Yeah. Cal High Speed Rail. It's taking forever to build us. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 wait, Cal High Speed Rail, coming, someday. Coming, eventually. Yeah. Or, no, 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 Caltrain, no. This will be, this will be appropriate for when it's fully built, but Cal High Speed Rail, 
Better late than ever. There's nothing. Damn. Yeah. Or you could, or you could be like Cal High Speed Rail. We're still here. Yeah. We're just being slow. Have me just want to like do like if we Amtrak route. Well, uh, there's a lot of them out there. Yeah, but it's really yeah. So I, don't, like, I think it'd be a li I think it'd be a little hard. Yeah. I mean, I could have a grab at it. You could. One thing. You'd just have to look up yeah. every Amtrak route ever. Oh, it's easy. Just have to look up Amtrak routes, and that's it. Uh. Do I just do an entire segment for a Trek route stereotypes or no? Nah, uh, well, we don't really know the stereotypes of that. Do we? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be a little hard to do. Oh well. Okay. Oh, actually, you did. Uh, I'm not really sure, but um. Well, uh, like, um, like, whenever you're talking about, you're talking about mainly some Amtrak routes, but, like, you didn't talk about the Acela. Mmm, well, that's, okay. Amtrak's Acela Express. Damn, we're fast. Yeah. Or, you know, or you could say, compared to Europe's stuff, we're not that fast. Yeah. But we think we're fast. Yeah. I'm gonna pick out like five of them and like see if I can like possibly do it. Yeah. Yeah, well, here, here, how about you. this one? You got the Keystone Corridor. Uh yeah. the Surfliner route. Yeah. You guys um, already done the Surfliner route though. No no, but these are the routes, not the actual companies. Yeah. Actually, you know what, I'll just do it my own. I guess I already got a few that All right. I think we can have a go at. Alright. Okay, so I think both Okay, so I think the first one we'll be starting off with is, uh, let's see here. Mm. Amtrak Auto Train. We carry cars in the back. I mean, that, that, you technically, they do. No, Amtrak no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Amtrak's Auto Train. At least you're being a little bit more environmentally friendly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, here's an interesting one. Corno, we are so obscure that the only reason why we're still alive is because of Indianapolis and Cincinnati. Yeah. I mean, I ain't walk. Amtrak's Cardinal Service. Tweet, tweet. Yeah. Amtrak California Vessel. We just grabbed a previous California Vessel. We just slapped our name on it. Yeah. Amtrak, Amtrak, Texas Eagle. We come from Texas. <laughs> no, hold on, yeah. hold on. Try, try like doing the Texas Eagle, but like make it as much of a Texas accent as possible. Hold on a minute. Let me let me figure something out right now. Let's see right now here. Hold on a minute. Oh. Okay. Texas Eagle. They do have bald eagles. Toronto. They do have, I didn't think they had bald eagles in Texas, but apparently they do. I wish we had bald eagles in California. Yeah. Hmm. But anyway, now the Texas Eagle. There are eagles in Texas? <laughs> okay, here's another one, and you guys will absolutely get this one. Amtrak Sunset Limited. We used to go to Miami, but then a hurricane hit us. And now we are in a new world. So much. Amtrak Sunset Limited. We go. We went to Miami, but then we got. Then we got rained out. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a bit better. Yeah. Okay, one more uh, Amtrak route. Amtrak Coast Starlight. No, let no. Let Brandon talk. Okay. Okay then. So you, you can have your moment to shine in a bit. Jeez. Okay. Amtrak Southwest Chief. I figured. We it. passed by a bunch of well fan locations. Okay. Because there's like four different locations for 
There's many different locations for all of the uh, Amtrak long distance trains. <laughs> Amtrak's Empire Builder. We split. Yeah. yeah. We split anyway, like a divorce couple. Yeah. Anyway, that's the, I'm done with that. So. All right, Josh. Now you can say what you want to say about the Coast Starlight. Oh, Starlight. We like beaches. Well, that's only for Southern California, but that's it. No, 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 Coast Starlight. We like beaches, forests, and mountains. I'm thinking more along the lines of Amtrak Coast Starlight. We have a Dash 8 in the middle. This was back when the Dash 8s used to actually run on them. When they actually, well, there was something wrong. Well, the Dash 8s don't run active. They're, they're now switchers because something's wrong with their head end power unit. So now they just run um, switch and yard operations. Yeah. I was going to say... I, this is a bit octopic for America, but I do got one that was in another country, and I know how this is going to look. What? Japan, we punish drivers every single time that they are one second late. Well, keep in mind that in Japan, they really like, they don't like, everything has to work like clockwork, especially for the railroads. For example, so, for example, here in the U.S., um, five minutes late is bad. Okay? Well, yeah. well, five minutes behind schedule is, can be, is considered late. In Japan, if the bullet train is five seconds behind schedule, then it's considered late. That's how seriously they. That's how serious they take it over there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's so funny because like five minutes late is like an average for Amtrak. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Sometimes it's up to an hour, with the long distance yeah. ones. I think. I think one. It's a fun fact. I think one time, and I'm not kidding to you. I think that I've seen a California death train that was 48 hours late. Hmm. I've like, seen it. On, I've seen it on time. California death before. That was interesting. Whoa! That is absolutely where. I was in Emeryville too, so it, it arrived yeah. in on time, which I'm impressed. Yeah. Actually, here's a fun fact. I one time saw like five hour late California Zephyr in the rain with a ton of gnats. Okay. That's too bad. Mm. Um, I think the worst I've ever seen for a cow train was probably like 15 minutes late. Well, for me, it's an hour. Wah, wah, wah. That's too bad. Yeah. It's one. It's just the location, and I'm just going to say one thing about it. Yeah, I know which one it is. Fullerton. We got Fullerton. Mm -hmm. I can know. Wouldn't that be more for Florida? Wouldn't that be more for Planty, Florida? No, it's Fullerton, definitely. Yeah. No, but for Planty, Florida. Planty, Florida. We got Alan Smith. Who the hell is that? Have you ever heard of Millennium Force? Oh, him. He goes by the name of Alan Smith. Well, no. His real name is Alan, Alan Smith. Alan John. Okay, but but he goes by Millennium Force. Find it. Let's reward it. Let's reward it. Plenty, right. Florida. We got Millennium Force. There you go. Yeah. I was gonna say Amtrak's Coast Starlight. Josh obsesses about us. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Yep. I don't obsess about things. Mm. Well. I don't obsess about railroad related things. Yeah. I obsess well, over only, Star Wars, uh, Jurassic Park, and Godzilla, and that's it. And history. I only, I only really go crazy over P42s. Okay. I'm glad I don't know anybody who does that. Well, I mean, I do now, but I'm glad. I, I'm just glad I haven't experienced anybody who's like. Oh my god, there's a B-42! Oh my god, I got a jack Okay, now I do not use that. Well, based on um, 
Every foamer ever. That's what I hear. Yeah, true. Now, here's a fun fact. I never foam on camera. Whoa. I mean, well, I don't... I mean, yeah, I mean, inside... I mean, well, here's the thing, though. When I see something, like... When I caught UP1983 and UP1996, I didn't show any emotion on the outside. But on the inside, I'm just like, oh my god, that's awesome, man. I'm, I was happy about it. Yeah. But... Outside, I'm just like, yeah, okay. Whatever. Me just sits here with an HOBMS stuff. Okay. Well, Josh is just sitting with his oil cars sitting out in front of him. On his, what he yeah. says, calls display track, but it's just a bunch of Bachman straight track in front of his desk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get a crude oil. Oil refinery. Oh, okay. All right. Display track. I don't know. I don't want to find out. It's just, it, oh, like, it's, it's literally just tracking a box. Yep. Here's your display track. Well, that's more along the lines of a display case. So, yeah. Have you ever had a phone Hold on. I can't hear you because there's locomotives going by. What was your question? I uh, like, it's just random questions. I'm so like, have you guys ever had a FOMOS? FOMOS? That's what happens when I have absolutely nothing to talk about and end up with random insane stuff that people already oh, yeah. have ever that's, you know, yes. Just ask a rail fan if he's ever heard of a foamer. Hey, have you ever heard about a, you ever, you know what a foamer is? Yes, I do. Why, are, are you one? Yeah, well, I'm no longer friends with you. So long, sucker. That's literally what it is. Rail fans hate foamers, and not wrong. Unless, yeah. Unless yeah, for some, wrong. unless magically you're friends with one, which I am. His name is Josh. I mean, like, I'm not on the level of filmer. I'm, like, kind of in between rail fan and filmer. You're more filmer, though, let's be honest. Actually, if you have a... I think that the term of if you're a rail fan, like, if you're in the middle of rail fan and filmer, it's well foam. Hmm. I mean... Rail filmer? So, <laughs> no, just well foam. Well, mm. well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, that. honestly, if... Um... Let's say I was... I was at, I was filming a train, and just some guy just walks up and is like, some foamer walks up and just starts blabbing at me. I'm going to punch him in the face and tell him to shut up. Actually, I told Josh what he would do, and he said he would grab a megaphone and tell him to shut up. Yeah, that'd make it worse, because then you would just cause a scene. Oh, by the way, here's just a weird fact, but, um... He wants to literally, like, after talking to Josh a lot, he has been recently wanting to, like, hold up a sign to a train that literally says, Honk once if you're a Republican, and honk twice if you're a Democrat. Oh, boy. That will, <laughs> okay. that will stir up some, uh... Arguments. No, <laughs> yeah. that'll just give you a flip off. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that would be interesting, because that'd be, that'd be some interesting uh, content for the channel, but... Yeah. Must see. In train engineer flips off rail fan. <laughs> not no. clickbait. Not, yeah, not yeah. clickbait. And then have, like, an image of um, the actual guy flipping him off. Yeah. Honestly, Josh, would you do that to somebody if you were a train engineer? Don't be wrong. Okay. You well, would, wait, can you say that again? If you were a train engineer, would you flip somebody off if you had the chance? Like a rail phone, yeah. like a foamer, or like yes. a... Yes, yes, 100%. It's like it gets caught on the dash cam. I mean, it wouldn't, because they don't have cameras facing you. Yeah. Now, actually, no, but... The only I question would actually... you would hear, you know, you, hear a, you would hear a question from the conductor saying, did you just flip them off? And just, And then just, yeah. Yeah. We with sunglasses. Yeah, I just did. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not that kind of reaction, but it just uh, yeah. 
Yes, then. Or yeah. just a yeah, dude. It felt good. Yeah. Dude. You know, yeah. like I've been always now just randomly. I just been always wanting to like do this thing. Like I've been always wanting to go up to like uh, like if I'm ever with well fans, I always wanted to like hold up a sign that says that just says. Honk one if you think he's a whale fan. Honk twice if you think he's a phone. <laughs> yeah, honk once if you think I'm a rail fan. Honk twice if you think I'm a rail fan. They're probably gonna honk twice because you're holding up a sign that says that. Yeah. No. What you need to do is make a sign that says honk one, honk twice if you think I'm an idiot. Yeah. Or if you think I'm stupid or whatever. Yeah. Just don't do hey. a. Just don't make a sign that says honk if you if you if you don't or you do support Trump. Just don't do that. Uh, that's yeah. a, that's a bad idea. Yeah. Like I said, I've been to like five hundred Discord calls with them, and let's just say with, with Josh. Think, yeah. That's a lot of Discord calls, man. The only mm. reason is because he calls me. Uh. Either like. And it's like, he always got me at the worst time when I'm like, getting out of the West Street. Hey, you, hey, don't worry, you're not the only one. Yeah. Just using the West Street, all of a sudden, Discord call coming in. <laughs> no, and, okay, here's the thing, though. I, no, I get actual, like, phone calls, though, dude. Yeah. So I'll be in the middle of just relieving myself, and then all of a sudden, my phone will start buzzing, and I'm just like, what is it? I'm in the middle of pooping. You gotta what? It, what is so important that you need to interrupt me and my relieving and me and relieving myself? And m recently, it's just been Amtrak 130 has over 100 views. Yeah. I don't care. Okay. That much. It doesn't concern me all that much. The only reason why it has that many views is because it crashed. Yeah. Mm. That's what I'm thinking. Oh well. Hey, Josh is the only one who ever actually, if you don't count my family, like my direct family, so my mom and my, my dad and my sister, Josh is the only person that actually calls me. It's always a text from everybody else. That is somewhat sad if you really think about it. Well, because, well, calling people is really not with our with the gen with, with 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 our generations it's just who who needs to call people anymore you can just text them and they'll respond within the hour or so hopefully yeah. hey but if i ever become like an uber driver i, mean, I don't want to ever see that you can just like you you can bore them to death with trains. No, 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 no. Hi there, um, hi there, Amanda. All right, where are you heading? Oh, City Hall. Oh, okay. Hey, have you ever heard about the AMD F40? <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what I do when they get got into the uh when I got to their destination. What? I just yell, get out of my car. <laughs> no, then you'd be, you wouldn't be rated well. And then they'd probably fire you. You know, I've been always wanting to try this. And yeah, I'm sure you guys want it. Is to, like, get a train one, attach it to my car, and then take the train while on to you to see if it holds back. Alright. They might. That was interesting. What you can do with a train horn on top hi, of your car. Uh, hi, uh, Josh. Yeah, hi, Margaret. Yeah, come on, jump on in. Uh, yes, uh, so where are you heading? Oh, um, uh, San Francisco City Hall. Oh, okay, that's great. Um, hey, have you ever heard of the Amtrak F40? Um, no? W what is that? Oh, the F40 is in blah, and blah, and blah, and blah. <laughs> Actually, no. This is what would happen. Like, do your accent, but instead of, like, doing what's I wasn't F40 doing any is, accent, man. I'm, I'm from California. No, no, we like, have the most... If you're not a surfer, dude, then you have no accent at all. I am from Kentucky. Yes, I'm from California. If you're not... If you don't... If you're not like, hey, what's up, dude? That's totally radical. Then you have no accent whatsoever. 
unless you come from another state. Then you may have an accent. Yeah. But people in California have some of the dullest accents in the world. Yeah. Even though when my sister, even though here's what's, even even though when my sister went to, she uh, studied abroad in Sydney, the people in Australia thought she had an accent. Mm. It's like what? No, I, like I have a feeling that like instead, I have a slight feeling that like if he did become an Uber driver, he would probably just say, "Hey, did you know that an Amtrak 130 video has 166?" Is that its current counting right now? Well, probably not. It's like 170, I think, or something like that. Uh, da, 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 da. You know, it's like we YouTube's not active. I sure as hope that if I ever had to take an Uber, I hope to God it's not Josh. A hundred, dude, you were on the dot. A hundred and sixty-six. You were on the dot. That is impressive. Well done. I only wet it off of the YouTube video. You fuck. I th you said it was a random guess. You lied to me. I am now. I don't approve. No, no, like I didn't click even say that it was a land You yeah, lied to I, me. Hey, click on Anger Legit. I can't cuz I'm not I'm in a different account. Uh, Why? Uh, what does it say? On Anger Legit it says 172. Whatever. It's over. Get out of my car. Oh well. So what? what do you guys think about California? What was the question? <laughs> what, you say, what's our I... opinion on California? What's our opinion of living in California? Um, well, it's beautiful in California. It's expensive yeah. as hell, especially if you live in the Bay Area or in LA, but yeah. it's worth it. I it's funny because I always say that I like, come from Kentucky, but as you can see from my profile, I freaking took a picture with a casket. Sound the transit from Washington. Mm. I mean, I'm I'm kind of done with the Bay. I want to get out of here. Yeah. Which is why I chose not to go to a school here, a college here in the Bay, and I chose Sacramento because I can actually do more there. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not even thinking college. Yeah, you I mean, don't. I'm going Josh, to high school. Josh, you are 14. You don't need to be thinking about college right now. You have four more years. Yeah. You shouldn't start thinking about college until you're a junior. Okay. You just need to be thinking about high school. Okay. And a driver's license. Because you'll be able to do that soon. Yeah. I'm like already eligible. The moment I start. I just don't want to. The moment when I can drive. You mean when you get your license? Uh, yeah. What about it? Um. I'm like I'm just gonna be going to the locals basically every night. Mm, your parents are not gonna let you do that. You know that. No. Yeah. And I'll probably just like. But they won't complain. They won't have the complaint that they have to drive me anymore. That's true. The only complaint will be if you if you wreck the car. Yeah. Oh well. Or if I go on to a highway for too long. Why is that a problem? I don't know. I yeah. think because they think the highways are too dangerous. That's just well, I mean, BS. Yes. Yeah. You're only going 80 miles per hour. Yeah, more 70, more 90. Depending on yeah. where you are. Chicago has a lot of railroads. Yes, it does. But he doesn't. But Josh doesn't live in Chicago. <laughs> I live in San Diego. You do. Congratulations, you win a medal. Of having nothing. Yeah. Railroad related. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Like legit. There's literally no freight trains going through here. Not anymore. Yeah. I'm about to live in a place that doesn't have any freight trains. I'm literally like 30 miles from Florida, Mexico. Yeah, and said you'll no have, joke. And yeah, and said you'll have immigrants. Yeah. That's that's just that is just rude. Yeah. Oh well. Um Wait. I think what? the nearest place you can think of maybe Corpus Christi. 
which is like an hour away from us. It was Steve's KCS, uh, Union Pacific, and BNSF. All right. All right. I only seen BNSF like once. Well, the only good place close to me, at least decent place, is Emerson. Mm -hmm. But if I actually want like really good stuff, then I have to go to the Central Valley. Like if I want foreign power, like NS and stuff like that, I have to go to Stockton or something. Or Sleepy Duffy. Mm. These are all places that Josh has been to and he wants to go back. Yeah. If I, I told you the list of every single state I would, uh, I've ever been in, we would be going on for a while. Well, there's only 50 states, so in theory we wouldn't be going on for a while. It'd be pretty damn short. Yeah, yeah true. I'm pretty sure I've been to either 19 or 23. Well, I've been to... Uh, doesn't even remember. <laughs> uh, go on the Google Maps and go touch every state wait, and count. Wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, wait. Oh, I boy. know it. I know it. Well, clearly you Fine. don't because you can't think of it. You count being transferring flights as being in your state or no? I do. I mean, I really count them as connecting states. Six. Then six. Hmm. Let's see here. Let me count how many states I've been here. I've been to. Dude, just give us a number. Don't give us okay. names. I mean, I know every capital of every state, but I'm not gonna count. But I'm not gonna list them all because I can only do it in song, and I'm not in the mood to sing. Brian, what? I super want to just take my speaker system with me down to Fullerton and just troll people with train horns. Okay. So then, like, I troll them so much that when a real train goes by, they think it was me pranking them. Hmm. I get. No way, you just have a big projector and a giant green screen. <laughs> yeah, they're that <laughs> dumb to figure that out. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. yeah. And as our train rolls past us, I'm going to end this podcast here. Thank you very much for joining us on this video. Thank you, Brandon, for joining us again. 27! Okay, 27 is... Oh. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you're new. And also, leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video. And also, hit that like button. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.